28, if f of negative x equals f of x for all real numbers x, and if 3, 8 is a point on the graph of f, which of the following points must also be on the graph of f? Okay, well f of negative x equaling f of x, this right here is what we call an even function. Okay, and even functions reflect over the y-axis. That's important. So what this means is that when I put in an, a negative value of x, the y value that comes out is the same as though when I plug in a positive value. A common one would be an equation such as, I don't know, y equals x squared. With y equals x squared, if I put in a positive 3, for example, I get the same y value out as when I put in the negative value of 3. You can see we have the same y value right here. So if 3, 8 is one point here, then we have to have negative 3, 8, making c the correct answer. Remember, even functions reflect over the y-axis. A popular trigonometric function that's even is y equals cosex. We know y equals cosex starts, or at least hits here, at 1, and it loops like so. If you don't know about these functions, you can look more into these graphing trig. But we can see here, I put in one value for x that's positive. I put in the negative, I get the same y. Obviously, this should be perfectly symmetrical, but you get the idea. I put in here, I put in 90 degrees and negative 90 degrees, and I get 0 and 0 out. And that's even. Okay, so that's an even function. You also should know odd functions, so you should be putting this in your notes if you don't know them. But an odd function, which this is not, means that f of negative x will equal negative f of x. So this will reflect over the origin. A popular example of that would be y equals x cubed. Note 3, it's an odd function. It's coming through the origin here. If I put in a positive 2, I'll get one thing. And if I put the same negative 2, I'll get the negative opposite value. For example, here, if I put in 2, I get 8. So I have 2 comma 8. We'll call this 2, 8. If I put in negative 2 for x, I'll get negative 2, negative 8. So when I have a negative x, I have a negative y. And a positive x, a positive y. And they're exactly opposite one another. The common trigonometric function that uses odd functions is y equals cos x. I lied. y equals sin x. y equals sin x comes right through the origin here and loops like so and goes this way. So I put in a positive, I get the same positive as though I put in a negative and a negation here. Like here I get, if I put in 90 degrees, for example, I'll get 1. And if I put in negative 90 degrees, I'll get negative 1. If you don't know what I mean by 90 degrees and so forth, you should definitely, like I said earlier, take a look at graphing trig.